More you talk now. Welcome to You Talk. I'm in the studio with my favorite people today. How are you all doing? I'm today? so glad we're your favorite people. I you am are. too. That you I mean, included me. You had to become because we spent so much time together. <laughs> That's true. So, you How know. about Dr. Josh? He's a little yeah, newer to our I'm, team. Yes. So. He's newer, but we still love him. Yeah. And, and you love me too, obviously, because you included me. Oh, that's we so do. good. <laughs> oh, it's just a loving environment. It really it, is. It's, it's all about uh, the love and group hugs. Can you love over technology? It's a little Using different, it? but I mean, you can. I do mean, it, right? I guess I mean, FaceTime. You know, some people. It's a love. You know what? It's a love hate relationship when it comes to technology, right? Sometimes you love it because of all the thing, cool things you can do, and sometimes you hate it when it doesn't work. You know it's what? True. There's another reason too to hate it. I, I, I can't wrap my head around this. Okay, being the drummer that I am. Yes. I'm at the NAM show last year. And, and technology year. Re- replaces you. It replaces <laughs> us. But, but here's the one that I have. It's like the invisible air drums. Mm. And here you are sitting, pl- you know, no sticks. I mean, you're just, it's like, no, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I no, wait, that, that, that's that, not that, that sounds kind of neat. It's like motion, it's motion sensor technology. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's there's crazy. nothing there. You have no sticks, you have no that's, cymbals, you have no wow. kick drum. No, I mean, it's like, that's not, dr- it's bad enough an electronic kit, Okay. You know, one of the few times, I, I don't break six for you, one of the few times I did was on an electronic kit. It was one of the most expensive on the market, and I couldn't get anything out of it. I was just beating so, that So you're thing. talking about loving and hating the technology itself. Yeah. But, you know, you ask, can you love over technology? Yes. I mean, so I you, think that, can you? It, it, you know, there's a lot of talk about technology breaking down relationships. You know, we're all on our phones rather than talking right. to each other. But it also helps facilitate social connection. You know, and in healthcare, there's a lot of focus on telehealth. And can uh, you have relationships and can you do therapy over camera and such? There, There's actually, there's debate about it. But there's evidence showing that hmm. you actually you, you can. I mean, relationships can still be, be built. built. Yeah. There's certain yeah. pieces of it. I mean, technology isn't everything. It's a tool. It's a tool. Let's put it in it. Put it and in it, it could be used for good it. or evil. Absolutely. <laughs> like and everything in the world. Everything else. Well, I mean, here's a good example. Bullying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is cyberbullying is huge. It's it it's just out of control. In fact, um, we got a, a a text from Colin who, well, here's what he says about bullying. I'm tired of being bullied and shamed. Mm-hmm. He doesn't say cyberbullying, but I'm I think the shame part adds that in there. I feel worthless and rejected. Oh, that sounds That's terrible. Horrible. I don't seem to fit in at school. My dad isn't around. And here's the killer. I wish my mom would have aborted me. What? Oh, my I just gosh. want to kill myself and get it over with. Oh. Help. Whew. I mean, that... Dr. Josh? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, I'm, I'm looking at, at you, Josh, because I'm thinking uh, my heart just aches for this guy. I, I'm so glad, Colin, that you reached out to us. I, I really am, yeah. but... Whew. The, uh, I can't say I feel your pain. I hurt for you. I think we all hurt for yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. He needs like an it's a wonderful life experience because that's the like, I wish I'd never been born. Yes, yes. You, yeah. you know, you oh, go one through of my all, these favorite scenari- movies. all these scenarios. But but obviously his pain is real and his it's situation real. is real. And, you know, unfortunately, bullying is a reality of life. And technology can definitely amplify the effects of that. It, it really can. Well, And that's why we started the, the hashtag goodbye to mean campaign is... Yeah. Let's say let, let's stop being mean to each other. Uh, mm-hmm. Enough, um, you know. It's yeah. both a bully. I mean, and Josh, you and I have talked about this before. Yep. Um, we don't always talk enough about the bully. I, I was just about being ask bullied, him but we do want to. We do want to talk that. to Colin about his issue. Maybe yeah. we can tag on the other. Sure. Yeah, because it's sure. like, why are people so mean? Why are people bullying? Well, you know, when, when we're talking about the technology side and, and the social media. It, rem, there can be a piece, especially when it's in the written form, removing the face. Yeah. Seeing somebody face to face, it's a lot harder to be mean. You know, you, you talk from a sales perspective. Salespeople always want to see you in person, right? Because right. it's a lot harder to say no to that door to door salesman than the person over the phone, right? I Easy have no trouble saying no. Up. I, I just say no. I have uh, no we, we, we both know my uncle. He has yeah. some really funny stories <laughs> on, on getting away from telemarketers ultimately. It's easy to say no to a telemarketer. Yes. It's even easier easier to say to say no to a robo call yes it's easy to be mean to somebody who yeah. doesn't have a face yeah. so humanizing recognizing that this is a real life this is a person i mean we've seen celebrities i, I i've oh. seen someone like oh. within the 
as the the trekker in the sci-fi in the Star <laughs> Trek in the Star Wars mm-hmm. realm leave social media because of the bullying of them. Yeah. And people forget these are still real people. They're real people. Come yeah. on. Like so so that's where we have to kind of nuance technology. It can bring us together. And and I think it has done that in very powerful ways. We have to remember there is a person right. on the other yeah. side, the other side of, of that. Yeah. yeah. Seeing each other as people, I think really makes a big difference in really saying goodbye to mean. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, so let's, let's bring it all, all the way down here back to Colin. How, where do we start with him? I mean, I just see a multiplicity of things that, that need to be addressed. Um, yeah, I wish I'd never been born. I, I just want to die. I'm rejected. My dad isn't around. Uh, I mean, this, there's a list of stuff this poor guy's going through. Yeah, no wonder it's yeah. overwhelming. And it's what not uncommon. And it's not no, uncommon it's to not him. Un- I mean, you hear this on the news all the time, or you know, you may even have friends that have gone through this, where yeah. they feel like things are hopeless, and they decide to take. I mean, hopefully, Colin, you're still around, and you haven't taken that like fatal step and doing something really harmful to you. But you know, people are feeling like this all around the world. Yeah. And what, well, what stuck, stuck out to me was him saying he feels worthless. Nobody's worthless. No. Everybody Good has point. something to offer. Everybody's valuable. Everybody matters. We all deserve to be loved. We, we all, all matter. have a purpose. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I think maybe first addressing that lie and, and, and having, like, Colin, you matter. You know, you are worth something. And, like, believing that. Like, I think him needing to hear it, hopefully from us, but also from some other people in his life, um, that he has a lot of value. Maybe his mom, and maybe there's somebody at school that he hasn't, he doesn't feel like supports him, believes in. It comes back to community. We talk a lot about this, Josh. Uh, Absolutely. I mean, the the social support is a big part of this. So, I I mean, backing up one second, one of the things that I I appreciate about this team is just your, your first reaction of, wow, you're in a lot of pain. I mean, that, that's what's going on mm-hmm. here is yeah. there's yeah. pain. And as we've talked about suicide and, and such before, I mean, that, that's what's going on is people usually don't want to die just to die. Yeah. Right. They yeah. want to get rid of the pain. Of course you want to get – I mean, if I were in this – of course I'd want to get rid sure. of the pain. Yeah. Sure. And if you see no other solution – then death looks like the only option. Well, and, and I often yeah. say in school assemblies, when I'm talking about suicide, you got to remember, guys, suicide is a permanent solution it to is. a temporary mm-hmm. issue. And that, Colin, that's not to minimize what you're going through or anybody else that's, that's with us today listening, watching. It, it feels like it's permanent. It, it feels like it's yeah. permanent, but but there is another day. There is correct. Uh, there is a, a light sky. at the end There's of the tunnel. Finding yeah. that hope, and that then comes yeah. back to what we were talking about. And that's how you cope. So, right. And that's where we come back to social support. Yeah. yeah. Ultimately, technology can provide social support, especially if people in your physical realm are not providing the support, the same places that we've talked about. That is a wonderful benefit of technology connecting you to other resources who can be supportive of you and tell you that you're worth something, that you're worthwhile. But most of us don't feel worth just by being told that. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I tell you, you know, oh, just think you're beautiful or think that you're intelligent. Well, you say that to everyone. Exactly. I need to experience it. You have it. to believe it, I need it to experience too, right? that you really see worth in me. And that is not an overnight thing. That's where, again, relationships, social support. And what I'm hearing is there's probably a lack of social support. Yeah. Between friends, you've got bullying, mom and dad aren't around. A lot of that core social support isn't there. There's right. nobody there to give the yeah. experience of feeling worth. That's hard. Well, and, and Katie, really hard. I'm thinking about something you said in a previous conversation. Um, we were talking about chronic illnesses and, and your struggles and all. And then um, this whole idea of getting your eyes off yourself. Yeah. You know, could, is that something, and, and I don't want to sound too harsh to call him, but is that something, Dr. Josh, that if he found a way to serve, to do little things for other people. So he wasn't to, concentrating his on, on him, his yeah. own issues. Is that, is that what you were bringing up, Katie? Yeah, but it, I think it's hard when you're so deep into that and everything he's experiencing and the pain, and it's like he probably doesn't 
know a way out, and that's why he's thinking of suicide. Mm. It doesn't see the brighter, doesn't see the hope, doesn't yeah. have that. Yeah. That yeah. it's the struggle of my situation's never going to change. I see no light at the end of this tunnel. I see no hope. It, so it's hard when you're that deep to get your eyes off yourself because you don't see anything but the situation you're in. Well, and, and the reality, too, is, uh, you know, if we talk about depression and suicide, for instance, and, you know, when we start feeling worthless and we have a lot of guilt, those are signs and symptoms of depression. I, I want to caveat, too, that not all people who suicide or have suicidal ideation are depressed. Hmm. Yeah. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of other pieces. Yeah. But, you know, for the purposes of depression, there's actually some evidence that people who are depressed, when you're in a depressed episode, you actually see the world more accurately. So it may even be in looking around, you know what? There are mean people. There yeah. are bullies. There's a lot of crap that happens. And you know what? You're right. <laughs> it's when we're actually not depressed. There's a little bit of similar to some other conversations we've had. We put, I have to almost put on a little bit of blinders and say, okay, everything's good. Well, you know what? Not everything is good. There's a lot of bad things that happen in the world. So depression and suicidality isn't even always focused on ourselves. Sometimes mm. it's seen all of the horrible other things going on to other sure, people. Sure. Yeah. Oftentimes I have seen people who are acutely depressed really care deeply for other people. And they're really focused on others, too. That can be a big piece of it. You talked about It's a, it's a Wonderful Life. Yeah. I mean, George Bailey, I, I wrote a paper on it and then performed in it at one oh, point, wow. too. So, <laughs> so I love it also. You're like the experts. <laughs> but, I mean, George Bailey wanted to have never been born, not because he was, I mean, there was, you could make an argument that he was focused on himself, but it's because he was seeing that he was bringing pain to other people, actually. At the same time, being able to get out and help other people definitely can help. Um, you know, we just, th there, there's that balance of, I don't want to make it sound like, oh, well, you're just selfish because you're focusing on, right. you know, you're, you're yeah. wanting right. to consider no, no, killing no, no, no. yourself. It's, uh, it's not really selfish, no, actually, right. it, although it can isn't. feel like it for survivors, but there's a lot more to yeah. it. It's, yeah. dealing, it's dealing with the pain. Yeah. 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 yeah, and you need somebody, we keep coming back to this, that, like, Colin, you need somebody you can reach out to. J yeah. Just one person you know, you that you can jump on the phone with, you can text or I'm hurting. I just I feel so down. I feel so deep. Right. Can and you lift me up? Including professional support, right. I would say. Yeah. In this situation no, this is one where I would absolutely say uh, some professional support is needed. Yeah. Absolutely. And I know so. it's hard, like as a kid, like you, you're, you're subject to whatever your parents, in his case, like his mom, you know, is doing. So it's not like you can just get up and move and, you know, find a new That's environment, right. but maybe there's something you can do at school. Like maybe there's a club, a different club you can join. Like you can, apparently the friends you have or don't have, like are not doing you real good, but maybe you need to find some other support in, in a different, you know, group of friends within the school. Yeah. And, and going beyond that, this is where, you know, to our earlier conversation on technology, there may not be anybody. Uh, you know, let's go to the exactly. Exactly. There may yeah. be nobody in your family. There may be nobody at the school in who your you town. can trust. If you can find a good community online, they can exist. You need to be cautious about Absolutely. it, of course. Yeah, you have to be very but cautious. that is Beware definitely a possibility, right. 100%. And there are uh, hotlines and such, too, that are free I was to say, provide yeah. that. And text, yeah. text lines. You know, right. What, what, we, do, what we will text. do is yeah. let's, what we will do is let's put our heads together and let's get some, some of those resources, those, those tech resources, the hotlines, websites. Obviously, you talk is here, utalkradio.com, but we'll put those on our website, some of these hotlines where you can talk to somebody or you can text or whatever, just a good resource um, where you've got somebody you can turn to, and not just for Colin, but other people that are watching and listening. Um, again, we want a resource out so... Because uh, we can't be here twenty four seven, seven. Yeah. but some you of know, these resources are. Some yeah. of them are, and and we are here for you. We will get back with you. We will respond. We will talk with you. Whatever whatever it's going to take. But we want to we want to have those resources. So let's make that a point to do that. That we will now. Let's go back to goodbye to mean. How do we stop? How can and we can't go into the whole campaign right now. We're going to be releasing videos and things online and so on. But in, and come to your community uh, with a goodbye to mean campaign. Getting down to the core, I, I guess I keep coming back to a phrase. It's a timeless phrase. It's timeless wisdom. It's actually found in, in um, some ancient 
writings treat others the way you want to be treated. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, it's funny. That sounds I, so simple, Steve. Yet, how it, come we can't? Uh, Larissa, I, that. you know, it's funny because I was telling my neighbor this, and like, and, love your neighbor. That's another thing yeah, that you know, people say for a long time. And, yeah. and I, I said to my neighbor, you know, imagine what would happen if we all just treated each other the way we want to be treated. He goes, Steve. That's big. That's giant. That could change the whole world. I said, I agree, yeah. Lloyd. I, I'm with you. I'm all about that. That's really what the Goodbye to Mean campaign is all about. Yeah. Well, and, and I would say, you know, in this conversation about thinking outside of ourselves, that's where it really comes in handy. Hmm. When we're mean, when we bully, we're actually probably thinking too much of ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. When we can get outside of ourselves, think about others, see another person as a human, as somebody you know, with with problems, with successes, and all of that, and not seeing people as black and white, as all good mm. or all bad. I think that's another piece. Yeah. It's and, really and, and, easy, especially today, to write people off and oh well, you think this one thing, so I'm you're just ridiculous, and I I hate you, and you're no, it's one part of our identity. Well, and <gasps> and bullies hurt. Yeah. That's yeah. why they bully. They're real people. They're they're real people. They're and a lot of times that's might be why they're bullying is yeah. because something else is going on. Yeah. That's that right. That is they're just trying to take it out on someone else. You know, you hear these stories all the time. It's like, well, maybe they're getting beat up with their big brother at home, and you know they're taking sure, it yeah. out on the next sure. kids. Well, and in, in 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 assemblies, what I often like to say is, come back with kind words. Yeah, a bully. You know, you're really ugly, and you have the breath of of blue, the dinosaur. <laughs> Say, you know what? I really like your shirt. Yeah, compliment them. Compliment them, yeah. and just take them off guard. Because saying something nice, you mean it's you. It's it's not that hard to say something no. nice, it, it, or it, do something. Well, nice. there are times that it is hard to say something nice. Yeah. Let's be, yeah. Yeah, let's be fair and honest. There is. I have been in situations where I'm like, Mm-mm, not to you, <laughs> <laughs> not to oh, you. You know, this this is huge. <laughs> this is an epic moment at Utah. <laughs> This is an epic moment because Dr. John. Who that is, Dr. John. Yes. I mean, the therapist, the psychologist heads down. Uh, you can text me. Okay. Utah, 411 247, and we can deal with this issue. We can, Thank you, Steve. We can yeah. deal with this issue. And I'd is, be happy to one on one. Well, and I think there's a natural tendency to do the other old saying. It's like an eye for an eye, right? So if someone's mean to you, right. you be mean back, right? Yeah. right? And so it's a lot harder to turn the other cheek or to. Again, turning the other cheek is just avoiding it. But like what you said, to go that next step is somebody says something mean to you, do you say something nice back to them? And actually, that's the best way to deflect a bully because they do not how to deal with it. No, they don't. (laughs) They don't. They're expecting you to run. You go say, like, I love you. And they're like, what? What? Yeah. Because you're not giving them the reaction they want. Right. Yeah. Well, and in that process, I mean, we're almost casting a new vision for how the world can work. Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, when we talk about bullying, meanness, it, it's kind of founded upon traditional ways of how we interact and, and, and have power, really. It's, you know, somebody always has to be above someone else, and I have to be the top dog and the yeah. alpha and all of this stuff. And maybe there's a different way of operating in the world. Maybe there's a way where everybody can have a piece of the pie, of the pizza pie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, but and, and where everybody just... can have enough. And yeah. you know what? There's a, there's an... If we want to be kumbaya, there's enough love for everyone. And Steve loves pizza. Uh, I mean, really. <laughs> and I love pizza, too. But, I mean, really, we, we, I mean, I think that that's a piece behind the bullying, yeah. behind the meanness is, well, I don't have enough love to give to everybody. That's baloney. <laughs> well, I mean, and, and, and it's pa- just not true. And you don't have to be on top. And, and power isn't necessarily a bad thing. I, power, no. to, to wanting power over somebody or to hurt somebody that's hurt you is a bad There's, thing. Correct. But having power to change yourself, to change your direction, yes. empowering right. hierarchical exactly. power structures exactly. and all that. Yep. With great responsibility comes, you know, or with yeah. great power yeah. comes great, great responsibility. responsibility. And that yeah. is one of the bra- beauties of power and privilege is when you can have that ability to help and empower other people. Yeah. That's a vi- that's casting a, a new vision. Right. Are you going to be the villain the or are you going to be the superhero? Exactly. Like that's yeah. always the thing. great discussion. I, I think we're going to have to continue this again. I mean it over it's, pizza. Over pizza. No. <laughs> no, we're this I think this is uh, Colin, thank you for reaching out to us and and if you are like Colin experiencing this, please, please, please don't sit there. Start by reaching out to us. Um, go on social media at utalkradio.com. Give us a call, 855-508-8255. 
utalkradio.com, just please reach out. Don't sit alone. Don't don't continue to feel worthless and rejected because we care about you. That's why we're here. It's all about you talking to us. So we'll be here for you. We look forward to the next time, next opportunity we have to interact with you. And guys, thanks again for being in the studio. You talk radio.